Hello, I am Jian Kai San. Here I will introduce the paper, Learning a Decision Module by Imitating Driver's Control Behaviors. This is the joint work with Jun Ning Wang, Sirui Xie, Chi Rui Ma, Chen Xiao Liu, De Walin, and Bo Lei Zhu. The design of the autonomous driving pipeline could be traced back to DARPA Grand Challenge, which is the hierarchical structure of perception, decision, planning, and control. Specifically, finite state machine was used in the decision level. Based on this modular pipeline, our work aims at developing a data-driven decision module to replace the FSM. Another related work to our paper is imitation learning. Intention understanding and behavior imitation have been extensively studied in the field of artificial intelligence and cognitive science, under the banner of inverse reinforcement learning. We imitate the driver's low-level behaviors to learn high-level decisions, whose execution is conducted by a transparent and configurable program. An autonomous driving system often modularized into perception, decision, planning, and control. However, in complex driving environments, it is extremely difficult to build a complete rule-based decision-making system. A significant program refactorization is required when one corner case is inconsistent with the existing rules. The primary challenge we have for a learning-based decision module is the source of supervision. For a human driver, it is both difficult and ambiguous to describe such a driving decision. In this work, we propose an imitation learning framework for a modular driving pipeline that learns neural decisions from human behavioral demonstrations. The generator simulates the modularized driving pipeline. At the upstream, a neural decision module generates decisions according to the information from a local map. Decisions are then passed into the program downstream modules for planning and control. For adversarial training, the neural discriminator takes in the generated trajectories and compares them with driver's behavior data. Due to the blockage of gradients at the planning and control modules, we derive a novel learning objective to propagate credits of control actions back to the corresponding decisions. This learning framework is hence agnostic to the mechanisms of perception, planning, and control modules. We evaluate this framework on various simulated urban driving scenarios, such as following, merging at the crossing, merging at the roundabout, and overtaking. In empty town, learning-based module outperforms end-to-end -end system by a fair margin. For the car following scenario, the end-to-end -end module is too close to the cars in front. In the crossroad merge scenario, end-to-end -end method takes more time to finish the task. In the roundabout merge scenario, learning based module has lower acceleration and jerk. In the crossroad turn left scenario, the rule based system crashes into other cars. In the overtake scenario, learning-based module has lower acceleration and jerk. For generalization, the learning-based module generalizes to unseen maps and interact with vehicles of different speeds. To sum up, in this work, we combines a program-based system with a generative learning method where the high-level decision policy is data-driven while the low-level planning and control modules remain configurable and physically constrained. It learns high-level driving decisions from low-level control data in an end-to-end -end weekly supervised manner, circumventing the ambiguous annotation of human driving decisions. This framework successfully distills behaviors in different scenarios into one decision module. These are the references of our presentation. Okay, that's all for my presentation. Thank you for watching.